Hey, this is Dom the Somme, and here are five things you may or may not know about orange wine. Firstly, for any complete novices out there, with all respect, orange wine is not made from oranges. Sorry, it gets that name because of the color. The color of the wine. Sometimes also called amber wine as well. So, why are orange wines orange? because you keep the wine and the must in contact with the skins. That's what's very important. You crush the grapes in the same way you make a red wine and you keep the skins in contact with the juice that you've just crushed, the must. So you're extracting the tannin, you're extracting the flavor, you're extracting the color. And this is what happens with an orange wine. It's a white wine in essence. It starts off as a Malvasia or a Pinot Grigio and it's just kept in contact with the skins. Could be months on a time, could be weeks to months. So now you're extracting more color, more tannin, more flavor, more texture. The wine is getting darker and darker. Orange wine is made all over the world now, here in UK, Australia, USA, South Africa. But I think it's better if we talk about perhaps the origins, definitely looking at Italy, Slovenia, and I'd like to focus on Georgia. The way they do this in Georgia is very, very cool. They've been making wine in Georgia for about 8,000 years, so they definitely know what they're doing. They use what's called a cavevere, which is a very large clay vessel. It's made from terracotta, that's red clay, and they bury it in the ground, and they put all the pressed grapes and juice and must and pulp and seeds and stem. In a lot of cases, just put it all in there, and they cover it, and they leave it to ferment and to macerate, it's a long maceration wine. Uh, these are not to be confused with amphoras. Some people call them amphoras. Amphoras traditionally would be used to carry and transport wine because they would have handles on them. But covevres are strictly used for storage and fermentation taking place under the ground. They're buried inside the ground so they can control the temperature. There are some fantastic orange winemakers out there. In particular, look out for this iconic brand, Pheasant's Tears out of Georgia. Uh, it's from the Kakati region. Uh, it's an indigenous grape called Katsiteli. Sorry, it's. I drank it the other day. I can't do a tasting right now. I still do remember though. Think, uh, think honey, think apricot, think almond. It's got a nutty element. Think a little bit salty as well. The thing I love about orange wines, they have so much texture to them. That long maceration on the skins is bringing tannin, almost like some tea elements. Um, it's like a wine you could bite down and chew on, in some cases. Some other fantastic winemakers you should watch out for. Radicon, also from the Italian-Slovenian border, Friuli region, and uh, Gravna as well, making some fantastic orange wine. So, is that five facts? Bonus fact, pheasant's tears gets its name because in Georgia, when a wine is so good, it can make a pheasant cry. <laughs> so there you go, five things you may or may not have known about orange wine. If you see it, on a menu, in a wine shop, in a supermarket, on a restaurant, don't be scared to try and give it an order. You might just fall in love.